Wild motorcycle concepts are always revealed during huge expos and auto shows like ICMA, Intermit, the Tokyo Motor Show, and CES. Like car designers unleash concept cars with wild designs that don't even look like cars, motorcycle manufacturers also create concept bikes that look straight out of a sci-fi film. Some of these concepts make us wish the future was now. They also make us wonder what the designer was thinking when coming up with such a wild creation. Unfortunately, many of these concepts never make it into production. Motorcycle concepts showcase the designer's resourcefulness and the manufacturer's design language, but sometimes they go overboard and design concepts with zero chances of becoming a reality. 10. Suzuki Falcoristico. The 1980s was a time when every automaker wanted a share of the automotive future, so they dug deep into their creative minds to bring out what they perceived the future would look like. They created badass concept cars and motorcycles with futuristic technology features and design cues that looked straight of 2050 movies. One of those designs was the 1985 Suzuki Falcoristico. The Tron-like, three-wheeled road beast was reportedly powered by a square 4 four-stroke engine with four cams and equipped with hydraulic drive, hub center steering, among other high-tech features. The bike was so advanced in its development that Suzuki said it could be produced immediately. The fact that we don't see it on our roads after so many years means we probably never will. 9. Mach Ness. Many people think that car engine-powered motorcycles are the epitome of crazy. Brace yourself for the Mach Ness, a wild beast that draws its power from a gas turbine helicopter engine. The metal monster was crafted by custom motorcycle builder Arlen Ness in 2005. The motorcycle's aluminum outer shell has large rivets that are noticeable from a distance. The unique aluminum build gives this bike a steampunk appearance that is not found in carbon fiber and plastic builds. Its entire body is shaped and crafted by human hands, which explains why we might never have it on our public roads in masses. 8. Jaguar M-Cycle. The Jaguar M-Cycle is not one of those concepts with their names representing their character. The Jaguar M-Cycle wasn't named so because it goes fast, but because it draws its inspiration from the Jaguar car manufacturer's logo. Also, its body design looks precisely like a Jaguar. This concept was designed by a motorcycle fanatic, Baron Masso Hems, and has been taken up to only 55 miles per hour. But with a 1200cc Harley-Davidson V-twin engine, this big cat is definitely way better than that. 7. Ferrari V4 Motorcycle Concept. Ferrari's cars are the best. Everybody, even those who can't afford one, loves Ferraris. If there ever was a Ferrari bike, it would be the V4 motorcycle concept. For the love of Ferrari cars, industrial designer Amir Glinick put together the sexy curves and the never-aging sleek lines that have always defined Ferrari in the form of a bike. It comes with hand controls based on the F-16 fighter jet and control buttons adapted from Formula One racers. 6. 2015 Honda CB750 Concept the Honda CB750 concept is a blocky bike imagined by a video game designer, Igor Chuck. While the motorcycle feels like a vision of the future, it is also firmly rooted in reality. The bike features a carbon fiber, aluminum, and titanium frame that makes the 2015 creation strong enough for heavy riders. At the heart of this beast is a four-cylinder liquid hydrogen engine that drives the CB750 so dangerously fast that Igor Chuck added a technology feature that slows it down automatically in case of an incoming collision. This feature can be deactivated at will. The bike also features high-tech features like onboard computers controlled OLED touchscreen. 5. Suzuki Cross Gauge. The cross gauge debuted in 2007 alongside the biplane, but with a different DNA altogether. This was the perfect entry style of Suzuki into the electric motorcycle segment. Unfortunately, the concept was too good to be true. Being a lightweight, electric, good-looking bike, the cross gauge was hampered by the company's choice of power source, hydrogen fuel cell. It was a perfect choice, only that hydrogen fuel cell was nowhere near viable for powering mass production of the bike. With only a handful of hydrogen filling stations in the world, it seemed wiser to leave the bike alone than to have buyers flying around the globe looking for refilling stations. 4. Swordfish Motorcycle Concept Concept motorcycles are known to display sleekness at their best. The Swordfish Motorcycle Concept does it way better than anything you've ever thought to be sleek. This bike is the brainchild of Alexander Kotlyarevsky and sports an aggressive design with futuristic features such as hubless wheels. 
The Swordfish motorcycle's overall look features a seamless mixture of beautiful curves and sharp angles that justify its name. Hubless motorcycles are like hoverboards. They're really cool but stuck firmly in the future, with no promise of coming to us anytime soon. 3. Suzuki Nuda. The Nuda is not just the best concept motorcycle that Suzuki has ever made. It is also one of the best concept bikes from any firm. The cycle strikes the best balance between the impossible future motorcycles and the attainability of its reality. The bike had a monocoque chassis. At the heart of the Nuda lay a futuristic GSX-R750 engine that sent power to both wheels. 2. Nucleus Motorcycle Concept When it comes to motorcycle designing, Nucleus takes everything the world has ever heard of in bike designing and turns it to its side. Unlike any other motorcycle concept out there, the company designed this bike to be on its own. They did not draw inspiration from any existing production bike, race bike, prototype, or concept. Everything was fresh for the Nucleus. When parked, this bike looks like a weird box, a fact that changes once the box hits the road, its wheels extend, and its saddle rises to reveal the bike's functionality. 1. Dodge Tomahawk Motorcycle According to the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, any automobile with over three wheels on the ground doesn't qualify as a motorcycle. Other than the wheels, this bike features a Viper V10 engine with a whopping 500 horsepower. Technically, we can say that this is not a motorcycle, but it is. This probably explains why this road beast has never made it to production, and maybe why it stands no chance of ever being produced. And it's such a shame because this beast provides speed-hungry riders with an opportunity to experience the ultimate raw power of a motorcycle. Kindly remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the notification button.